Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Melissa Muir. In this video, I want to introduce you to the new Impulse. Sunstone has sent this over to me to unbox and review for you. So let's jump in and take a look to see what some of this looks like. So let's look at this machine. So this is the new Impulse and I'm kind of excited about it. So if we look at this, you'll first notice that it's kind of a silver color. So a little bit more sleek. It's also a little bit larger. So if we compare this to the original Impulse, you can see the size difference on that. And this is also about the size of the PJ welder. So we do have an increase in size, but there's a good reason for that. Uh, we have a number of things that are built into this that were not built in here, including a power supply. So I no longer have to have a bulky power cord. Another thing that I like that they've changed here is that my stylus is no longer integrated and it's much longer. So this is going to give us a lot more versatility in that regard. Here in the back, I have everything I need to for my power and turning it on, as well as like my gas hookup. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. We're gonna look at some of the different things. So all we need to do here is plug this in and then I can turn it on. Now I do wanna point out that we have a ground back here, a USB port. This is so that if there's an update needed for the machine, you can get a USB stick, download onto that, and then just bring it over here. And then this also works with all of the different Orion optics. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on just by switching that power button in the back. Now, while this is booting up, I wanna talk a little bit about a new technology that Orion and Sunstone has come up with. So it's called True Fire. Now this is something that they've worked very hard on. The old welders, so the Impulse as well as the PJ, you'll note that they started at three joules and that is because that is where they would get the most consistent fire and ignition to go with their, their welds. Look at our smile, he's so happy. I mean, can you imagine having a happier welder? But anyway, this True Fire technology is going to give you some more consistent welds and fires. And we'll talk a little bit about that in just a second. Let's talk about our interface here. So notice that it goes up to 30 watt seconds. And I can hit the button here to decrease or increase this. I can also use my finger as a slider. Now one of the upgrades for this machine that I really like is the power. So we can start at one joule and because of this true fire technology here, it is actually going to fire and ignite, which means I'm actually going to get a good weld at one joule. Now that's not very much. So you'll see a WS, that's a watt second, which is synonymous with a joule. Here's the kicker. You can go up in half joule increments, which is totally awesome. And that is gonna happen until you get to 15 watts. When, after you get to that 15 joule or watt seconds, then it's gonna go into the one joule or one watt increment. And that's because at this level, that half joule increment no longer really plays a difference between 21 joules to 22. Once I have a setting, I have the ability to lock that so I don't accidentally bump this or anything like that. So it will lock that particular setting into place. I can unlock and then begin to move things again, just like that. I do need to tell if I want my weld on. Let's come here to the settings really quickly. I can change my brightness and that's gonna be the brightness of my screen. I can change the uh, microscope and also the volume of the box itself. Then there's an additional thing here. So right now I'm in landscape, but I can also switch this over to portrait. Try to do this upside down. But when I do that, now I can lay my box on its side. So I have the ability to switch both directions. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to landscape here for just a moment, exit out of this, and then we have this little picture icon. This is something that's new and fun. You have the ability to change what your screen looks like. So I'm gonna select one, tell it okay, and notice that there's this. And there's going to be wraps that you can do around the box as well. Say I wanna change my picture. Okay, then here's another thing. We're gonna come back to that portrait interface here, and I'm gonna exit out of that. And now you'll notice that the uh, orientation has changed on my machine. I can also still come back in here and change this so that it changes here. So they've programmed it so that it looks good regardless of which orientation you have selected. 
Another change that they have made here is on our front. We now have where we can plug the stylus into the front of our machine, and I don't have to worry about it pulling in from the back side. That's going to give me a lot more flexibility as I'm working with my clients or as I'm working on a piece. Then we also have two grounded ports here, but remember, in addition to that, on the back side, I also have a grounded port right here. So that's going to give me the ability to use three different grounded items. And that's going to include things like your grounded clips, your pliers, your hemostats, anything like that. Another thing that they've included is two sets of little feet. And they did that so that you could either keep it so that it sits on that horizontal or you can switch it so it's on that vertical positioning. When it comes to optics, you can get a number of different setups. The least expensive option is going to include a standard ADL. When I'm doing permanent jewelry, or actually if I'm working on anything else really, I do like to go to at least the upgraded ADL. And that is going to give me a lot more working space than if I'm just working underneath the standard ADL. I also like the fact that there are two rows of LED lights, so it's much much brighter to work with under here. In my own studio and wherever possible, I actually use the microscope. Now you have two options for a microscope. It can either be attached to your bench top or you have it where you can buy the PJ microscope that comes on a stand similar for the upgraded ADL. When it comes to plugging in your stylus, there is a red dot here and there is a red dot that lines up on your stylus itself. So you will just take those two, line them up so that they match up. Then all you have to do is simply slip that into place. As with all welders that come from Sunstone, they're going to give you a little welding plate where you can kind of practice. And then they're also going to give you the fiberglass brush to help clean off any of that soot, as well as a number of electrodes. This has five electrodes, as well as a diamond sharpening wheel. In addition to that, they are going to provide you for the tubing for argon, but this setup does not come with a regulator. It's also going to come with two grounded alligator clips. Now to put my electrode or install my electrode, is very simple. I like that they've made this a little bit easier to remove. Some of those previous ones were pretty difficult. So I just insert my electrode here, but I want to make certain it's the right length and I use the cap of this to ensure that. So there's just this little divot line right here where it settles into uh, our handpiece and I use that as kind of a gauge and I want to be within this little divot right here at the top. So once that's in place, I can go ahead and lock everything in, insert this into my ADL. So here we're going to be working and I'm ready to go. Anytime I'm going to do any kind of welds, I always try to set up a test to, to see kind of what I'm going to need as far as the right settings. So I like to do a couple of test welds just to see how things are going. And I like this technology. I can see very easily that true fire at work here. So in this case, this ring needs a little bit of work. So I would make note of this, put it in my book and get ready for the next setting. If you're familiar with how I work, I typically will take and make a whole bunch of jump rings and then I will create a setting for each of my welders. And so I've gone through and done this with a number of welders here. And you'll notice that I've taken notes on how some of them interact, but then this is where I to keep a record of each of the settings and the rings as I go through those. This is invaluable. It's going to help me figure out how to hold my material at the weld, but then it's also going to help me get the settings right. So I'm kind of excited to jump in and use this machine. So the newest thing on this is going to be that true fire technology with the dual range power. And what that's going to do is give us from one to 15 joules. We now have the half joule increments because sometimes when you're working with really fine things, three joules is not enough, but four is just a little too much. So having that three and a half joule setting is going to make the world of difference on some of those. But once you hit 15 joules, it really doesn't make any difference like in the half joule increments. So at that point, you go to one joule increments. The True Fire technology also makes it so that your weld is going to fire more consistently. So you're going to have less misfires and you're also going to have a little better energy and more consistent than
that's delivered to that weld. On this machine, there is one weld that's going to happen per second. So that was kind of the best marriage between the PJ welder and the new impulse. Now with the new impulse, both the PJ and the old impulse machines are going to go away. So that no longer exists. This new impulse is still going to run in that same price range, about $2,700, depending on what you choose for your optics, that price then will go up. I also find the new digital touch screen much more fun. They obviously gave it that happy look and they give you 14 different backgrounds that you can then use. And that will help you to make it so that it fits your aesthetic, not just that normal blue or orange screen that we had to choose from before. The software is updatable, which is going to be nice. So if ever your machine needs to be updated, they can email that to you. You throw it on a USB, put it in your machine and update it right away. There's no longer any need to send this back to them to do that. Like the majority of their machines, it also comes with a three year warranty. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to drop those down in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer and get back to you.